One person who knows firsthand what the city is up against in combating this crime wave is former NYPD Commissioner Bill Bratton. He served as the city's top cop not once but twice and is credited with a big drop in crime in the 90s as well as implementing one of the most controversial law enforcement policies in the country. Bill Bratton joining us tonight. Good to have you with us, Bill. Good to be with you. Let's talk about the ambush happening in Harlem. Since that time, we have seen an out pouring of support for the NYPD. This on the hills of morale being down, the department not feeling that love. We're seeing a new sense of unity. Will it last? Will it help? The unity among police will definitely last. The, the thin blue line expands dramatically in the midst of these tragedies, as was evident last week during the funeral uh, of the first officer. And then tomorrow, once again, you'll see 20,000 police officers lining Fifth Avenue. Uh, in terms of the community, mm -hmm. a lot of outpouring of community support. As to how long it will last, that uh, remains to be seen. We're in very controversial, very contentious times at the moment. A lot of it fueled by uh, political leadership, unfortunately. And unfortunately, even after this tragic incident, political leadership in this city and this state, with the exception of the uh, mayor, uh, still seem to be wedded to their uh, bail reform, criminal justice reform, laws that have been having such a negative effect on public safety in the city. And since you bring up our new mayor, he recently released his blueprint to fighting crime. I've heard that you have been in support of it. He's brought up a controversial anti-gun unit, bringing it back, sending more officers to the 30 most dangerous precincts. All elements that you support? Definitely. That, um, he, uh, the blueprint actually is not just about uh, um, if you will, police action. It's a lot of language in there, but also about social programs. But key to it is the idea of basically getting a handle on the growing crime problem in New York City. Shootings up dramatically, murders up, overall crime, problematic uh, subway system where people are very fearful of riding it. So trying to encourage people to go back to work where they're fearful of getting on the subways. Uh, he has his hands full, but I have every confidence that uh, Eric is his intentions uh, great. Uh, his ability to deliver, I think, is very good. But he's up against a lot of uh, political resistance and, unfortunately, some community resistance also. Do you see a mirror between now and the time when you served as police commissioner? I know back then you supported the broken windows policy stop and frisk. There was pushback. There were tensions. Are we at that same point right now? No, actually, uh, in some respects, this is worse than it was back in the early 90s in that the anger toward the police, the hostility of the political leadership in many cities and states toward the police, uh, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, the district attorneys in many cities, including, unfortunately, here in New York, have effectively turned their backs on their police forces and seem more intent on protecting the rights of uh, the defendants rather than the rights of the victims. A lot of well-intended efforts here by so many people, but uh, a lot of them having gone incredibly astray. Criminal justice reform efforts on the part of the legislature in this state, disastrous. The district attorney reform efforts on the part of a number of our district attorneys, disastrous in the sense of uh, not being able to put people in jail who are using guns to commit murder and uh, injure innocent civilians. That has to change. Good news is the mayor is committed to it. I think the court system over the last couple of weeks in New York has accelerated meetings with district attorneys to push them to file charges against defendants uh, uh, that they have paperwork to move those cases into trial. So we're seeing some progress there. Uh, it really is going to take uh, the concerted effort of the criminal justice system once again working together. Because right now, for the last couple of years, they have not been. But if they start working together again, and Eric, I think, is really encouraging that, we can see some significant improvements. All right, Bill Bratton, join us. We should also mention to our viewers that you have a new book out. It's called The Profession, a memoir of community, race, and the arc of policing in America. Bill Bratton, good to have you on tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Good to be with you.